On the phone with us live this morning is the Erie County Department of Public Works Commissioner Bill Geary. Bill, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us on the phone. I'm looking at your Twitter right now, and it looks like you've got plows all throughout Erie County this morning. Yeah, good morning, Ed. Good morning, Katie. Uh, it's, uh, it's another busy day in uh, Public Works. So where's the worst spot right now that you're seeing? Okay, uh, with the winds, they're giving us, uh, obviously, blowing and drifting conditions in any wide open area, but uh, periodically on the top of most of the hills, like uh, Cole Road, for instance, uh, Hunter's Creek Road, Jennings Road, a um, few of those, you know, down towards the Collins, Eden area, uh, we're, we're, you'll be driving along, you'll have uh, pretty decent conditions, maybe a little snow-covered road, but then there's, you know, these wide open fields, and you get some pretty good drifting, so... We had about 20 trucks on the road in the southern district overnight. Um, in the northern districts, north of the metro area, had about 10 trucks, 10 to 12 trucks at any given time. And even in the uh, northern suburbs, we've been seeing some drifting as well. Yeah, it's been such a busy few days for you guys. Can you tell us, what do you want people to know, our viewers, what should they know as they're heading out the door today? Uh, first and foremost, you know, get as much accurate information before you step. Uh, we got some great tools on our website. We have a new interactive map. Uh, that'll show you any roads that are color-coded red, uh, yellow, and green. Um, red being closed, yellow would be some sort of uh, restriction, and then green, it's, it's wide open. They also list a lot of the major state routes on there. But, you know, um, follow us on Twitter and, and be prepared. You know, uh, you can be driving along, and conditions can change in a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. So just uh, really give yourself a little extra time, top off that gas tank, and have a little go pit, uh, kit in the car, you know, a blanket and some gloves and maybe an extra cell phone charger. That interactive radar just unveiled within the last week or so. It's a really great tool. We have a link for you right now on our WKBW app. We know you're waking up with your phone in your hand. Make sure you're checking that out. All right. Thanks for joining us this morning. And we're